Um, one of the key findings from the behaviour in Scotland schools research that the Scottish Government published towards the end of last year was the exponential increase in mobile phone use in our classrooms and the impact that was having on detrimental behaviour in terms of our children and young people. So, as a result of that, I took an agreed action uh, with Parliament that we would update our national guidance to set out that should head teachers choose to do so and introduce a full ban or a partial ban, I think as we've seen in this school today, um, they would have the full support of the Scottish Government. And the reason that's important is twofold. One, it improves behaviour. We know there's evidence to support that, but two, it can also improve attendance and attainment. So we really need to focus on creating safe and consistent learning environments. We know having mobile phones out in class can detract from learning, but it also can create unsafe learning environments that can impact on behaviour. So I think as Education Secretary, it's important I listen to the profession, provide this clarity in national guidance, and that's what today's guidance sets out. The important thing to say is I don't, as the Education Secretary, have the power to enforce a national ban. I know that there's been discussion of that in other parts of the UK, but the way the legislation is set out at the current time gives that power to local authorities and to individual head teachers. And I think fundamentally, as a former teacher, I trust Scotland's head teachers to take the right decisions for their young people. And it may be that some head teachers say they don't want to have a ban, and I respect that and I understand that. But many head teachers have already decided to implement a ban, be that partial or full. And I think it is important that government sets out our expectations and our support for such an approach, because we know that a ban can help to improve attainment. And that's a real focus for me as Education Secretary. Well, it's a long time since I was last in a classroom, although I'm still registered with the DTCS. I think it's hugely important that I use my experience having been in the classroom to inform all that I do. But as Education Secretary, the main thing driving the decisions I take are the views that I hear from Scotland's teachers and our young people in our schools. That's informing every policy decision I take. That's exactly why today we've launched a National Behaviour Action Plan. It's why we've updated our behaviour approach, but also why we've taken a very... I think clear approach in relation to mobile phones because of that engagement with Scotland's teachers. So yes, being a teacher is helpful, but to me, being a teacher is part of the story. Engaging with those that I am to serve as Education Secretary, our teachers and our young people and our parents and carers is the most important part of my job. Um, and just finally, some experts um, analysing the English policy found that there might have been a link to improved exam results mm. um, when introducing a mobile phone yeah. ban. Um, are you hopeful we could see something like that here? Well, we're not introducing a monolithic national policy, so I think it would be quite difficult to measure it. But I do know that there's other evidence that exists that suggests that limiting mobile phone use has the impact of improving attainment. So I'm not necessarily surprised by that data. It would be quite difficult for us to measure that as an outcome. But next year, we will certainly be considering a range of different factors. We know, for example, this year that the impact of the COVID pandemic continues to have an impact in relation to the attainment on our young people in relation to their exam results. So would I like to see a mobile phone ban improve where we are in relation to attainment? Yes, I would, but we'll need to work with head teachers on the ways in which that's been implemented in their schools. Great, thank you. Thank you.